What else do you take away from the season? Uh, I think as a team, step you know in the right direction, uh, back where we wanted to be. Uh, you know, in the playoff spot. The last couple of years has been you know tough when you at the end of the season you don't get to play in the fun times. So I mean, uh, overall, a good year for myself and the team. I feel like and. Uh, yeah, a lot of good things have happened, and I feel like it's going to keep happening, and we're just going to get better from here. How did yourself playing alongside Kopitar? It seemed like you guys really built some chemistry as the year went on, and what do you look forward to playing you know, possibly with him again next year? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was great. Uh, obviously, he's a hell of a player, uh, all three zones, all over the ice. Uh, it was nice to kind of get that, you, you know, to start playing with Kopi consistently, I feel like builds, yeah, as you said, chemistry and, uh, you know, builds confidence too when you stick around with the same uh, line mate for pretty much all year. So uh, definitely helped and, uh, yeah, definitely, you know, uh, you play better overall after time because you know where you have each other and stuff like that. You know where, where Kopi is when I have the puck and when I don't have the puck. So, I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was a good feel. When did it change for you or how did it change for you? Because last year, Todd talked about wanting to keep you away from Kopi saying that you were, you know, uh, deferring too much and, you, you know, that sort of thing, playing with a veteran. When did the mindset change and you feel that you were kind of comfortable in that role? Uh, well, I feel like after, you know, just playing with him consistently, I feel like if anybody, if I play with him consistently, after a while you're going to get chemistry. And it was, uh, you know, last couple of seasons have been hard because, you know, I've been bouncing around all kind of different lines, all kind of different positions, and it's hard, you know, when you – at one point you're trying to think about how you want to play and then you get put in another line and then you want to try to play different because you play with certain players and uh, just uh, I play with Kopi yeah, all year now and uh, you know uh, just builds chemistry and uh, yeah I mean confidence as well and that's very much all uh, I have. So with the two of you guys set what do you do in terms of trying to find a left wing where do you go from here internal candidate External candidate, what what's needed on that line to complement the two of you? Uh, you know, I think we had some different wingers throughout the year that worked well. Uh, sometimes hasn't worked as uh, as much as we wanted to, but you know, we've had uh, you know Alex pretty much there all year, and he was you know he's great, great line mate. Uh, you know, works works so hard, try to get pucks back and stuff like that, and uh, you know, uh, we really, really like playing with him as well because you know you know what you get from him every night. And uh, yeah, he's uh, he's a really good team player and uh, and uh, hard worker. So you're not lobbying for ninety <laughs> one. Uh, I mean, it doesn't. I don't know. It's uh, it's hard to say right now. But uh, whoever we play with all throughout the year, I think worked worked out well. And uh, we'll see what happens now in the off season. But uh, yeah, looking forward to next year. What's the what's the next step for this team? What, what do they have to do to get to the next step? To uh, you know, go from getting into the playoffs become a contender? Uh, well, I think a lot of guys, we have a lot of young guys on the team that, you know, now they have experience for what it feels like to come into the playoffs and stuff like that. And for myself as well, you know, I've been in one playoffs before, but it wasn't even close to, to how close this series was at the end. And, you know, it's it's great experience for me. And I feel like we have a young team and players are just going to get better and better throughout the years and I feel like coming back to next year everybody's going to you know be more mature and uh, you know knows what it takes to, to get to the playoffs how hard it is and uh, and uh, yeah I think as a team we're just going to get better throughout the years. Can you talk a little bit about your relationship with Todd? Uh, I know in his first couple of seasons here he mentioned you quite a bit tried a lot of different things and there was a lot of experimentation there uh, but he also seemed really proud of you as you came into your own uh, just I mean, what, is, what is the the coach-player relationship like there, and, and what kind of coach have you found him to be? Uh, yeah, the relationship's been really good, you know. Uh, he's, uh, you know, a very honest coach, and uh, and uh, he's always been very honest with me about what he thinks, that I'm doing good and, and you know, not so good. And my first couple of years, obviously, uh, I wasn't, I didn't play as consistent as I, as I wanted to. Uh, I think I didn't play with enough on a consistent line either, so, uh, but other than that, I feel like obviously this year uh, is my best year so far, and I know he's really happy happy for that. And uh, maybe took me a little longer than I wanted to take, but you know, this is where I want to be. This is uh, the type of player I want to be, you know. And uh, relationship has been great. Uh, you know, I play a lot of minutes, and I know that 
he, he trusts me out there in every situation, which is great and a good thing too. And that builds confidence for me as well. It's just not, you know, scoring and stuff, but just feeling that uh, the coaches trust me out there in, you know, all situations is uh, is a big uh, key factor. You're a restricted free agent. Would you like to sign a long-term contract here? Uh, yes, I would. You're one of those rare middle players in terms of age distribution on the team, right? Great veteran team, younger kids. Who are maybe some of the younger guys, I'm assuming Kapari, maybe that you've taken aside and tried to share your your journey with to, to help fast forward the <coughs> development? Uh, yeah, I mean, no certain specific player like that, but you know, we have a lot of young guys. Obviously, there's a lot, a lot of Swedish guys in the team do, too, and uh, you know, I try to help them when they came into the team and stuff like that. And uh, but I mean, I think all the young guys on our team has done a great, a great job this year. You know, in terms of you know, playoffs and and uh, they've been so consistent during the during the year with. You know the amount of injuries we've had on, especially on D's, and the amount of guys have come in and out of the lineup all year. It's been doing a, a great job, and uh, really proud of them. And uh, yeah, I I try to be more loud now in the locker room than I, maybe I was a couple of years ago, and uh, think uh, yeah, other guys like that. When you first came over, you had a lot of success there right away in Manchester. But at a certain level, was this year the most rewarding for you personally, just considering how hard it was to get back to the playoffs at the NHL? Yeah, I think so. And uh, I mean, the team, you know, we, we we had a really good season as a team and they reflected on my season as well. And I think uh, a lot of guys had, you know, Morrissey, Phil and all those guys had, you know, great, great seasons too. And uh, I mean, that's this is what we're going we're gonna to have to need this next year too, if we're going to make the playoffs. I'm going to have to be at the same level or not, if not better than I was this year, if we're going to, you know, keep building on this and take another step. What do you do personally to not have that regression? A lot of guys coming off 35 goal seasons, they take a step back. You get a big contract this summer, guys take a step back. What do you do to keep your foot on the pedal next year? Uh, I mean, same mindset I've had all year uh, going into the games, you know, uh, just play my ass off. And uh, obviously, I expect myself to score. Uh, but I mean, uh, if I play with Kopi, I'm, I, I know I'm going to score, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to score 35 again, but I mean, it's hard to say, but that's my goal now, and I know I'm capable of doing it. Hey, Randy, when you look at your team, why do you find more success on the road than at home, and how can they improve at home going into the next year? Uh, uh, it's a tough one. I felt like ever since I came here, we've always been a better road team. Uh, I don't know why the, why it, why it's like that, but I feel like uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you know. Obviously, more pressure to win at home. I guess I don't know if that reflects it, but I feel like, uh, yeah. It's, I mean, it's it's a really hard question, and I can't really answer why we're better on the road. But uh, I mean, it's obviously you want you want to be good at home all the time. I felt like we we took a step in the right direction this year too, in terms of that. But uh, I mean, that's a good thing that you can win road games, and that builds uh, a lot of confidence in the team as well.